Hello, Bird Glamour fans! So what am I doing outside in the middle of winter besides freezing my tail feathers off? I'm looking for a teeny tiny little brown bird that calls the coast and the southern interior of British Columbia home for the winter. Join me today as I explore the life and the glamour of the Pacific Wren. There is a chance that we might hear a Pacific Wren on this walk, so we'll keep an ear out for one. Pacific Wrens live year-round in their range. We can find Pacific Wrens in Western Canada, mostly in British Columbia, and in the Western United States, mostly along the West Coast. Right now I'm in the Kootenai region of Southern British Columbia, and Pacific Wrens can be found here year-round. I haven't heard any yet, but that doesn't mean that they're not here. Pacific wrens prefer an old growth conifer forest, but they can also be found in mixed forests and deciduous forests. In these habitats, Pacific wrens like to be near water, and particularly if there's a lot of dead trees, logs, and fallen over stumps with dense undergrowth. Pacific wrens are a small, brown, dappled bird with a teeny tiny little sticky up tail. Their size and their color can make them very hard to see in the dense undergrowth. Don't worry though, you'll likely hear a Pacific wren before you see it. Listen to this. Doesn't that song sound like it should come from a much larger bird? Pacific wrens are teeny. They're only about 10 centimeters or 4 inches long. If you hear the bubbly excited song of the Pacific wren, take a look around for fallen logs and tipped over stumps. You might see the Pacific wren perched on one of its display branches, singing its heart out. There is another wren whose breeding range overlaps the breeding range of the Pacific wren in northern British Columbia, and that wren is the winter wren. 
We once thought that the Pacific wren and the winter wren belonged to the same species, the winter wren. People noticed differences between the two groups of wrens, particularly in their songs. Here is our Pacific wren song. And here is the winter wren song. Can you hear the difference between the two? People separated the two groups of wrens into subspecies. But the question was, exactly how different were these two groups? Researchers David Toews and Darren Irwin decided to tackle this question. They went to northern British Columbia, where the two groups of wrens breed. They captured and banded 48 male wrens. Banding is when scientists put different colored rings around birds' legs. Think of a bird leg band as the bird's own personalized leg jewelry. They also took tiny blood samples from each bird for DNA analysis, kind of like a birdie CSI. They then released the birds safe and sound. After that, they kept a very close eye on the birds. Using the birds' unique leg bands, Toeys and Irwin were able to figure out which wren was singing the Western Pacific wren song and which wren was singing the Eastern Winter Wren song. What Toeys and Irwin found out was amazing. The Western wrens and the Eastern wrens were not only very different groups genetically, but they had been different groups for 4.3 million years. This meant that the Western wrens and the Eastern wrens were definitely two different species. This research led to the western subspecies of winter wren to be recognized as its own individual species. Scientists call this event cryptic speciation, when two very different species are very hard to tell apart visually and look like one species. Sneaky, sneaky little wrens. Pacific wrens are cavity nesters. The males will set up several different nest sites, and the female picks which nest she wants to use. After the female selects the nest, both the male and the female will finish lining the nest with feathers and fur. Pacific wren nests can be found in dead trees, in the roots of uprooted trees, creek banks, and in hanging moss. Pacific wrens will also use human-made cavities for their nests. In June of 2020, we visited Thetis Island. While we were there, we were able to film a pair of Pacific wrens setting up a nest inside a plastic tube that was covering a power line. Let's watch them in action. Thank you for joining me on my walk through Pacific Wren territory. We didn't hear any today. We heard some red-breasted nuthatches, but no Pacific Wrens. I've included links to the Pacific Wren study that we discussed in the video in the description below.
Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you next time. Like and subscribe. Bird Glamour is made possible by viewers like you.